I'd have to say that the Javelin, the uh, 11D model, is my favorite light mech from 3025. In all honesty, it's kind of hard to go wrong with this 12 heat sinks. It's 696 movement. It's a good amount of armor. And four medium lasers are pretty much the gold standard in 3025. And the reason why I didn't pick the Commando as my favorite 3025 mech is because that, all that firepower comes at a very high price. Namely, a large amount of exploding bits that seem to turn every mech at 3025 into a big pile of scrap metal. I mean, the bug mechs are okay, don't get me wrong. The Wasp Stinger and Lo Locust are just fine. Some of the Locust variants actually are really quite excellent. Except for the 1M, which everybody regards as a big pile of crap. It's kind of hard to argue with just two LRMs and one ton of armor. The Wasp's own failing is the fact that it's SRM2. Just isn't enough, it just isn't powerful enough. Kind of giving the full area to the stinger by default. Liking the fire starter is a little too hard for me. There's just too many flavors on it. It's too much of a specialty mech, although there are some variants that are quite nice. And liking the Jenner is a little bit like looking at another girl here on campus. It's not so much that it's not a good mech, but you know, frankly, you know, it's just too much trouble. Can't like Karita Tech. All about the Steiner Blue. The Oscout and Spider just give up too much for speed. You know, in later eras, all that speed's not so bad, but in 3025, when all you're fighting back is with, with one or two medium lasers, kind of outgunned. And usually in an Oscout or a Spider, you're facing on something that's got a lot more armor and a lot more firepower. All it takes is one or two good hits, and you're done for, matey. The Panther and the Urban Mech are just too darn slow. I mean, they both mount terrific main guns, which can take down a light in one shot, but even in 3025, you know, to be the best, you need just a little bit more speed. And the Valkyrie, she has the opposite problem. Not her speed so much, but you think that being just a little bit slower than average would gain her some considerable firepower. It's gained her quite a bit of armor, but frankly, an LRM-10 and a medium laser, when those are the only two weapons you have, they're a little bit mismatched with that LRM's minimum range. So in conclusion, it's just the Javelin's just kind of like the all-around solid performer. I mean, there are some mechs that are faster, stronger, better, better armed, but in all honesty, in 3025, only the Javelin and the, and the D model is the total package. And you just can't really quite beat it. Well, you, you can, but it's still the best mech to take.